It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. Ah uh, shit, day it is. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Top to Catch. Can I check your shit today? All right, guys. In today's video, well, guys, I'm gonna be going over the new leaks that have been coming out for Apex Legends concerning other releases coming with season one. Now, a few of those things even involve a new weapon, maybe even a change to the map, maybe even a new character, and maybe new NPCs slash like different environmental things we have to worry about but before we get into that make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already you drop the thumbs up and you comment and you let me know what you think about the video and what you guys think about these changes that are soon to be coming to apex legends but anyways guys getting right into this right from the gameplay trailer for season one you are going to notice a few things and i went back and watched it myself because i personally didn't believe these you know leaks slash you know things people were saying but going back and slowly watching the video piece by piece by piece, I saw everything that everybody else was seeing. And in this gameplay trailer, they did show the L-Star LMG in play. They showed a camo for the Havoc that was by Watson. It had the Watson logo, everything of that sort. So you know Watson's going to be a playable character as well. And it even showed above the building flyers. Multiple promo images of Season 1 have a certain red background showing Leviathans around the island. The important part is, the repulsor is broken. A repulsor is this little place in the map where a big antenna is pointing out at the creatures in the sea. They emit a sound humans can't hear that bothers alien wildlife such as Leviathans and Flyers. In Titanfall 1, the militia destroys many repulsors at an IMC base, so the Leviathans and Flyers around the area come and destroy everything else. Leviathans and Flyers will enter our season some weeks from now and break havoc, if not hostile. Flyers will be rideable for a couple seconds after using the balloon for shooting midair and as a meat shield. So think about using that in-game. You're using the balloon, you're trying to fly somewhere else, and you're actually able to fly on a flyer and actually even use him as, like, bullet damage protection in a sense like another shield leviathans will be a ha world hazard not just mountains to make rotations harder but they might kill you on accident because they might walk on top of you on accident the location will most likely be randomized every match the trailer shows them in different locations so that being said those leviathans that you see in the distance every single game are actually going to be able to walk on the map so that's going to be something to look out for now i do believe that you'll be able to hear them coming or you'll be able to see shadows or maybe there might even be a warning or even like a you know a bell anything like that there might be something to warn the players or maybe you know your players will talk about maybe the leviathan's getting closer you know you never know but that's just something else to look out for and honestly i'm glad they're doing that because it's honestly going to make people pay more attention to not just like the area but to the area around them now there have been two images of the camos that are coming out with the Watson character and one of them was used in the gameplay trailer for season one and the other one is for the alternator SMG now as you can clearly see it does say Watson on the side of them so you do know it is for the character Watson now we don't really know too much about Watson except that basically she can set down Tesla traps and that she works with electrical walls also, some fans have, you know, reported of seeing images of a reconstructed Thunderdome area and what could signal the first major map change in the future. And if you look very closely, guys, you can see on the newspaper in the Apex Legends, you know, video, it shows King's Canyon and then it shows rebuilt Thunderdome. Now, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about all these leaks, all these, you know, things you've seen in the gameplay trailer, what your favorite thing is, and what you are looking forward to the most, and what you are actually worried about changing on the map. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You drop that thumbs up, and like I said, guys, make sure you comment and you let me know what you think about these changes coming to Apex Legends very soon. But anyways, guys, much love once again. Peace.